Welcome to Papa's Workshop. In the last video, I showed you how to make the kids letter coin bank, and that was a lot of fun to do. Today, I want to be able to even personalize it more by adding the name onto the acrylic, and this is what it's going to look like. You can add the name right down here with the laser and be able to engrave this with the diode laser on the acrylic, and today I want to show you just how easy it is to be able to accomplish that. So let's get started. A special thank you to all of the Patreons who helped to make this channel possible. And if you'd like to join the Patreon family, please go to patreon.com slash Workshop. In order to be successful and engrave onto the acrylic, you have to do a little bit of testing. Now, I'm not a big fan of making all the big fancy wheels and the grayscales and all that type of stuff, but you do need to have a starting point. And when I started my test, I did it with a very a you know, fairly high speed and a low power, and then I had to make adjustments. After three passes, I had it down. Now, I would suggest doing the same type of thing, experimenting. Start with one setting. Now, I'm going to give you the settings that I used, but it may or may not be the ideal settings for you. But at least it'll give you a starting point so that you can do your own test. And I cannot emphasize enough, test, test, and do some more testing, and you'll be able to get the results that you're looking for. Now, when I did my first test, it actually was completely clear it did absolutely nothing on this acrylic. The second test is this one right here. Looks a little bit better, but it's still not real good. My third test was this one. Looked a whole lot better, big improvement. I made some additional adjustments, and then I went to the actual project. Let's open up Lightburn, and I'm going to show you just exactly what I did to be able to set this up. When I started this project, I used one word, and that was the child's name that was being put onto this project. And I started with a number of different settings. you got to think about what you're actually engraving on. If it's something like the acrylic, you know you need to have a very low power setting. So after several different tests, what worked best for me was to have a speed around 60 inches per minute with 40% power. That did real well. I did keep the overscanning in position, not using the air assist because it really is not necessary. And that was the setting that I finally settled on. Now this may or may not work for you. You may do some additional testing to see what works best. Now my setup is real easy. This is just a piece of steel that I picked up at the local hardware store. And this is actually what you're engraving on because you can see the name right here. You can also see the other test that I was doing. And quite frankly, the first test didn't show up at all. When you buy the steel from the local hardware shop, this only cost me uh, roughly about $5. It was not much at all. And then I just spray painted it. The spray paint that I used was just a Rust-Oleum Universal Bonding Primer. There's really nothing special about this, but I do want to say this. Please use this outdoors. It does have a pretty strong smell, so I would suggest using it outdoors only. Let this metal completely dry before you want to be able to test out your projects. Now I'm using the Fox Alien Riser CNC machine. Now this is the 20 watt laser that I have, which means it puts out about five and a half watts as far as the output power. Now when you set this up, you're actually engraving onto the steel itself. You're gonna set the height based on this being the surface that you're engraving on. Because what is actually happening, that light is actually shining directly through that acrylic and is burning onto this metal. That metal heats up and that transfers that image onto the acrylic. That's the process and that's how it works. Now this sheet can last for a long, long time. And after I have all different types of engravings on it, really the only thing I need to do, sand it down maybe just a little bit and put another coat on it and I can start all over again making additional projects. 
Now you'll see some black marker on here. That's my registration points. Before I took the acrylic off of the coin box, I marked exactly where I wanted it. Then using the frame function in the Lightburn software, I'm able to make those small adjustments. And I can slide this left, right, up or down to exactly the point that I need to be able to engrave this. Because at this point, I can't see where it's going to be without that box and I'm not going to engrave it with the box here. So having these registration points is critical to being able to have this successful. Using this frame button on the Lightburn software allows me to move and make those small adjustments necessary to have it positioned exactly where I want it. And when you're done, all you need is a little bit of alcohol and those marks will go away. So now it's time to go ahead and hit the start button and begin the engraving. Now this is a fascinating process and I absolutely love it. But make sure that you grab the glasses and you use the glasses the entire time. This reflects the blue light everywhere in your shop and you absolutely must have the glasses on to be able to prevent any type of harm. If I remove the red filter from the camera, you can see all of that light reflecting everywhere. So please be safe and make sure that you keep your glasses on at all times because you do not want to cause any type of harm that will cost you your eyesight. Thank you for watching the video today. I really hope that you were able to learn something because doing personalized gifts like this and being able to add names onto it is just fantastic. The kids and the grandkids will love this and treasure this for many years to come. If you liked the video today, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little button right down there and don't forget to hit the little bell notification. I appreciate each and every one of you watching the video today and I look forward to seeing you in the next project. Adding the name to this project really does put that finishing touch on it that really makes it special. I do hope that you will give this a try in your shop. I think that you will be amazed at the results and the smile that you get with the finished project. Like I said earlier, I think that the kids and the grandkids are going to love receiving this as a gift for, and enjoy it for many years.